hi guys in this video i'm going to cover uh, one more option a floor and order in iacs uh, i'll show you one scenario in what whatever i faced in my project at whatever i got in my project i'm just going to explain here uh, clearly suppose i have it two tables uh, uh, one is customer dim uh, this is one of the dimension table and the salary dim this is one of the dimension table and customer dim is a parent table for salary dim table uh, so if the id exists in the customer table uh, that id is going uh, that id only if we insert in the salary dim table if it's existed in the customer dim table then only it is going to insert in the salary dim table this is a foreign key relationship uh, if you see here there is a foreign key relationship on uh, this uh, first parent table uh, id on uh, column id so now in data integration how we can load means I have two mappings like uh, I mean sorry I have two flows in this mapping one is um, uh, one is to load to the uh, I mean flat file data is loading to the uh, customer team table and then another flow is the salary flat file is going to load to the uh, salary dim table okay um, these are the different two flows if I run this which one will execute first we don't know right so first we uh, for our need we need first to execute this customer flow because there is a foreign key relationship the id is existed in the customer table only it's going to insert in this salary table first it will execute it. otherwise if we execute this one none of the records is going to uh, going to uh, store in the i mean insert in the salary table because it's not existed in the customer team table so in this scenario what we have to do means in informatica um, uh, we have floor and order option here so if you see here there is two flows right uh, two targets we have so uh, like this we we have two flows here as per informatica right now we can see uh, the first is going to execute by customer dim table only and the second one is second flow is going to execute second so there is no confusion here because it's it's in the same flow suppose if we have the salary flow above and the customer dim table below means it will it will execute uh, first uh, salary uh, salary flow and customer in uh, next uh, next customer dimension table if you wanna change then you just click like this okay up and down you can adjust um, now we need customer dim table only to execute first so this flow i'm going to keep it here first and second uh, salary one okay so just uh, save it yeah thank you for watching the video bye bye